During today's Senate hearing, executives from Columbia Gas faced intense questioning from Senators Elizabeth Warren and Ed Markey regarding the deadly gas explosions that rocked the Merrimack Valley in September and whether the company mishandled recovery efforts. What, what grade would you give the company to how they're handling this? Is there something lower than an F? Residents relived the terrible night of September 13th when natural gas explosions injured a dozen people, damaged more than 100 buildings, and killed one young man. Nothing is going to break. I will finish it for her. Nothing will bring Lionel back. Beyond questioning Columbia Gas's initial and long-term response to the disaster, Senators Elizabeth Warren and Ed Markey and Representative Seth Moulton grilled the company's executives on their personal accountability. Mr. Hamrock, how much were you paid last year? My, my compensation is a matter of public record and it's in the range of $5 million. $5 million. Okay. Has your pay been reduced as a result of this disaster? I fully expect to be held accountable with compensation being an important part of that and in fact have recommended to our board that my bonus be withheld. So your bonus may be withheld in the future. Preliminary investigations show that Columbia Gas failed to require a professional engineer to sign off on its gas line plans. It also didn't have personnel in place for immediate disaster response. Columbia Gas initially promised residents their gas would be restored in mid-November, but the company predicts it could miss that self-imposed deadline by an entire month. This is still a company that's trying to backpedal, trying to talk through it. I just don't think we have the kind of commitments we need there. Reporting from Lawrence, Megan Adelini, The Boston Herald.